to another VEX Code IQ tutorial. So for this one, we are going to be looking at programming and setting up the motors for your clawbot. So at this point, you would have already finished building your clawbot and now it has the motors. So we're going to look at how we are going to configure the motors so that we can drive it as well as configuring the remote to make the rest of the clawbot work. So to start with, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a VEX. You're going to open up VEX Code IQ. We're just going to start with a new project. So no need to open anything recent. We'll just start a new project and save a new file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top right. And we're going to open up our devices. So normally we add the drivetrain for when we've programmed in the past, but instead we are going to add each motor individually. So you're going to start with here, the motor, it should be underneath the controller. You click on it and as always, it's going to come up with all the ports. So we're going to first start with the left motor, which is connected to one and we are going to rename it. So up the top, you can see that it says motor one. We are going to rename that. Let's just name it left motor. Now it won't let you do spaces, so you can just write it like this and that's all we have to do. So we can press done. We can then do the same thing go to motor and we're going to add six and name it right motor. Now, before you press done, we have to click this little tab here to reverse it. So when we configure the remote, when we want the robot to go forward by clicking this, uh, both joysticks will work the same way to go forward and backwards. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to move to the next motor, which is your the claw and the arm so your i'm just double checking that i'm right yes so number 10 is going to be the arm so what we're going to do is we are just going to name it arm and now this stays the same and now we just have one more to add which is 11 which is the claw so that is all done We've configured all our uh, motors. Now everything on the right, I mean on the left over here, has come up. So as you can see, we've still got our normal move forward um, and turning. It's a little bit different to when we did it with drivetrain, but it's still there. And we also have a few extra ones where it comes to velocity and torque, um, where we can change it for all four of these things. So We'll go into this a little bit more when we start working with the limitations of the clawbot. Now, we just have to add one more device and that is the controller. So when we click the controller, as you can see, it comes up here and it is configured like this. So what we wanna do is we can't add the joysticks here to move so what we are going to do is instead, we are going to add the buttons. So here where it says E, it's already put it in automatically. The left side will be the left motor. The right side will be the right motor. Now we have to configure the arms and the claw, which we can just do with the bumpers at the back of the remote. So if we just click both of them, it automatically does it. So now we have all that configured and press done. So when you first try it out, it might feel a little bit weird because you are using the buttons instead of the joysticks, but it'll still work the same. So once you have put all those in, you can plug it in and click download. Now I don't have the robot with me, but it's still the same. Um, now I would also recommend naming it. So if you go to um, file and naming it as you can see I already have one so I am going to name this one uh, I'm just going to put it clawbot code I'm going to save that so now it's saved anytime I want to use the clawbot I'm going to open up this code if I want to change it and download it so once you download on your robot if you select that program you should be able to use all of the motors on your robot so it can drive it can move the claw and it can move the arm. And that's all you have to do for that. So have a go, 
see if you can make it work and just have a play around with it. And if you have any questions or any problems with it, please let me know. All right, good luck with everything.